It's mid-December and we're right smack in the middle of the holiday season. The most asked question we get in produce this time of year is what's the difference between a yam and a sweet potato? If you don't know, come on in. We're talking taters. Hi folks, I'm Tony Morak from McCaffrey Markets and it's mid-December and the excitement is building for the holidays. Even though we're not sure what to expect this holiday season, one thing is for sure, we'll all find a way to celebrate the holiday. Whether it's big or small, we'll all have a traditional holiday meal, which means a lot of us will be enjoying sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes have always been a traditional holiday favorite. The confusing part for customers is yam or sweet potato. What's the difference? The truth of the matter is what you've been calling a yam is actually a name created for a variety of sweet potato. And for most, it's very possible that you've never even eaten a true yam. That's because the true yam is a totally different vegetable that is a starchy edible root that is grown in the Caribbean and imported to America. It has a brown, roughly scaly exterior and mostly consumed in Africa, the Caribbean, and the Asian markets. The yam version of the sweet potato started back in the 20th century when southern farmers introduced a softer flesh sweet potato that they felt were superior and wanted to separate them from the white flesh sweet potato that Americans were already familiar with. The name stuck, and so we have the yam, the orange flesh sweet potato. Now that we understand the relationship between the yam and the sweet potato, let's talk about the unique characteristics each variety has to offer. There are hundreds of different varieties of sweet potatoes. Today, we're going to cover the four most popular varieties that you will see in our markets. The orange flesh sweet potato. This variety is the most common and most popular of all sweet potatoes, and is the one that most people refer to as the yam. The exterior is orange and smooth, and the interior is also bright orange. What makes this variety so popular is its versatility. Its flesh, when baked, turns softer and drier than most other varieties, but also maintains its firmness. Therefore, they are excellent mashed or baked whole. The white sweet potato. This variety has a creamy yellow exterior and a white interior. They bake up sweet and firm and are best used eaten whole or used in soups and stews. The Japanese sweet potato. This is my favorite variety to eat baked whole. They have a deep crimson exterior with a bright white interior. When baked, their flesh is dense and sweet. Reminds me of eating a roasted chestnut. The Stokes Purple Sweet Potato. This variety is on the run. The outside is smooth with a deep purple color, and the interior has the same shade of purple and does not lose its color when baked, which makes it a standout on a dinner table. Like the orange flesh variety, the Stokes flesh makes up drier but less sweet. It does, however, have a nutty chestnut flavor like the Japanese variety. What's great about the Stokes is the color of purple, which means it's packed with antioxidants that are so good for our bodies. And no, just because they are purple, they are not genetically modified. They are as natural as the orange sweet variety. So now you know the story of yams and sweet potatoes, and you also know that not all sweet potatoes are alike. Each variety has its own personality. I'm Tony Morak from the Cappy Markets, talking taters, sweet taters. Simply delicious. Thank you for tuning in. And from our family to yours, we wish you a very safe, warm, and blessed holiday season. Thank you for shopping at the Cappy